On an issue directly tied to the economy, President Obama pushing the House of Representatives to spend another $26 billion. Now, this money will be used to fund some 160,000 teaching jobs and to help pay the salaries of other state government employees. In addition to this, it provides $16 billion to help cover Medicaid expenses for the states. But is this actually assistance or a political handout to unions. Joining us to discuss all of this is Republican Congressman Charles DeJue of Hawaii, as well as Democratic Congressman John Garamendi of California. Gentlemen, uh, welcome. Let's start with you, Congressman DeJue. You're going to vote against this, I suspect. Why? Well, the problem in Congress today is that it seems to be that the universal answer to every one of our nation's problems is spend, spend, and if that doesn't work, spend some more. And this particular bill that we're voting on today fits exactly in that genre, and that is spending can fix all of our nation's woes. And after having appropriated $800 billion for a so-called stimulus package, and we still see unemployment hovering near double digits, more spending isn't the solution. And this particular measure is a political ploy that is being financed by cuts to food stamps, by increasing taxes, and according to the Congressional Budget Office, going to increase the size of the budget deficit. Well, Congressman Garamendi, the solution our nation needs. Let, let me go to Congressman Garamendi. He brings up a good point. Certainly. Paying for this by cutting food stamps, and it also, you can't ignore the fact that it plays right into the hand of a traditional Democratic Party constituency, you know, the state union employees. I mean, this is, it's almost like buying a vote, well, isn't it? This is, this is, no, this is really not about union employees, whether they're state or anywhere else. This is about our children. This is about the classroom. This is about my own daughter's classroom uh, and in her school where now the kindergarten class is 42 students. It's about 16,500 teachers in California that will be in the classroom investing in the nation's future. That is the education of our kids. 106,000 teachers will be in the classroom teaching our children. And it's about the firefighters, it's about the police that are being laid off all across this nation. And it's simply about Congress stepping forward, using money that uh, is not being spent in other parts of the federal government, reallocating that money to things that are critical, public safety, educating our children. To say this is about unions is just really foolishness. To say this is about educating our kids, about making sure the firemen are there when there's a fire in our home, that's what this is about. And about the taxes, oh yeah, we're raising taxes on those international corporations that have been receiving a tax credit for shipping American jobs offshore. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The current tax law gives a tax credit, a tax reduction to corporations that ship jobs offshore. We're saying, no, it's all over, guys. You don't get a tax break when you ship jobs offshore. That's Gentlemen, why we're paying for this. I, I want to bring in uh, our guests here because they're nodding their heads and uh, both in agreement and disagreement. Let me start with James. You actually chuckled when Hi. Congressman uh, Garamendi began talking. Why is that? And if you want to ask him a direct question, go for it. Well, I, I don't want to ask a question in a disrespectful manner, so let's ignore the, the chuckling. I think we can have a, a good uh, discussion here. You, sure. Congressman, you did say that it's uh, not about the unions and it's about the teachers. However, I have to, I, I disagree strongly. It's really about pensions and the fact that pensions have grown, grown out of control with fraud, waste, and abuse. And I just, I don't see how anyone well, can miss that picture uh, in well, recognizing. Let me just tell you, well, let me just finish one. Let's one, talk about Let me pensions. finish one thing first. Because we sure. are in, in the states right now, we have a rare situation where everybody's back is up against the wall, the politicians and the unions. And it's a rare condition in which lasting, meaningful, and important change can be made. My objection to this spending is not that I want teachers to be you know, cut or have their payrolls cut, not at all. But it's, it's getting in the way of meaningful reform. Congressman? Well, maybe so, but let's take a look at those kids. In California, over the last four years, we have seen a reduction in the, uh, not in the, we've seen an increase in the class size. We've seen a reduction in the number of teachers that are in school. We're talking about kids that are not getting the proper education for a variety of reasons, one of which is the extraordinary cuts in education that are taking place in California and in other states. That's not good. We're also looking at a situation where firemen are not, not available. They're not in the firehouses. Firehouses are closing. Police are being laid off. We're talking about public safety here. And how do we pay for that? We pay for that 
by ending a tax break that corporations have had when they send American jobs offshore. Let me bring you tell Congressman, me what's wrong with that. Let me bring Congressman DeJew back into this. Is this a, a reaction uh, to a bad economic situation that has the, the states fiscally strapped, or is this the, 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 the result of bad policy in, say, California or Illinois, because they, they promised more than they could deliver with their pensions, and now the people suffering are going to be the kids? Yes, let me make uh, two very quick points. Number one, and that is the problem I have uh, amongst many with this particular measure and with the mentality going on in the United States Congress today is that this Congress is willing to spend any amount of money to protect a government job. But what we need more in our economy today is not more government jobs. We need more private sector jobs. And second, it, answering your response to your inquiry, and that is that for a number of states, such as my state in the state of Hawaii, where we actually did balance our budget today uh, for this year, I think it is unfair to ask the taxpayers in states that have been fiscally responsible to bail out the, the states that have not been. Uh, this is yet another government bailout that we do not need, and just like the other government bailouts, something that's not going to work. Congressman, I want to bring in Kimberly, Congressman, I want to bring in King, uh, Kimberly sure. Guilfoyle, yeah. especially since Hawaii, I believe, is going to be cutting the school week <laughs> to balance its budget. Right. Uh, well, I think it's unfortunate that some states that have been fiscally responsible and done a better job of managing their money are now going to have to pay for and be burdened by other states that have not. That are in in terms of California, well, I was you know first lady of San Francisco, very familiar with California politics, and my question to Congressman Garamendi is, do you deny that this isn't going to be beneficial for the midterm elections and for 2012 going forward to take care of the people with the government jobs and the unions that are the very people that help the Democratic machine and put the candidates in office? Well, you're trying to make a story here that simply isn't existing. Let's talk about what's actually happening in the classrooms of California. In the classrooms of California, uh, kindergarten classes are going to 42, 40 kids in a kindergarten class. Fifth, sixth, and seventh grades that are not protected by the classroom size reductions, they're going to the same level. We're talking about the education of our kids. We're talking in California specifically about 16,500 teachers that will be able to continue to educate our kids. We're talking about police and firemen that will be there to protect us when the burglar arrives or the fire's in our home. Now, if you say that's wrong public policy, then, okay, we can talk about that. But let's also talk that this is being fully paid for by funds that were previously allocated that are not going to be spent. We're reallocating that for this particular purpose, and we're going after those international corporations that have been offshoring jobs and getting a tax reduction for doing so, bringing the jobs back home. We need to make it in America. We cannot reward corporations for offshoring jobs. That's ending. When this vote takes place, the president signs it. I'm sorry, Mr. Corporation, but you're not going to get a tax break when you I, send jobs overseas. I think overseas. I need to cut you off there, Congressman Garamendi, uh, and I appreciate both of you, Congressman DeJew and Congressman Garamendi, Thank being you. on us. Uh, you have to go vote. And we didn't even get a chance to discuss the majority of this bill, $16 billion, to help the the states pay uh, their unfunded Medicaid liabilities. We'll save that for another day. Gentlemen, good luck to you both. Barney Frank.